is Z Squad. It's your boy Zuby, and today I am going to show you a video that has been one whole year in the making. I have been thinking about making this video since like the summer of 2018. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Roll it! Hey yo Z Squad, it's your boy Zoobs, and welcome to another video. Sonic is a really popular franchise. Its fandom is huge. The Sonic fandom has lots of different kind of people. Normal people, weird people, creepy people, but in the wise words of John Tron, with every big fish, there's a leech on the belly. You know, like this? Yeah, I don't want to play this abortion. I, I don't. Uh -huh. So without further ado, I'm going to look at the abominations that are bootlegs. Sonic bootlegs! Because Zuby has run out of ideas. Now, the first game that we're going to look at is called Sonic Adventure 7. Wait, 7? What happened to... Three, four, five, and six. I guess we'll never know. I don't like this. Okay, here we go. This game is not very good. For starters, it's extremely hard, and second, the music's really annoying. <laughs> and to top it all off, the spin dash doesn't kill enemies. Can you imagine the freaking spin dash not being able to kill enemies? Yeah, me neither. This game is not very good. Don't play it. Yeah, that game over sound, it's acid to the ears. <laughs> the second game is Super Mario Sonic. So here are the characters that we have to play as. There's Mario and Sonic, Mario and Luigi, Sonic and Red Sonic, and what what the heck is Chip and Dale doing here? Also, there's an N. <laughs> eh. It's just there, not not doing anything. Okay, let's just start this game already. Every night I lie awake and ask myself, why do I torture myself? Oh, right. For the views. It's just... Rescue Rangers. Okay, so there's there's a chain link fence. There's a blimp, and the blimp takes something. I guess it's 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 really easy to keep track of. And also, there's some text. I I don't know what this says. And now we're starting the game! It's basic platforming. 
You have to throw crates at enemies so you can knock them out. I also did a little crouch dance. Oh, and also, the spoon guys can go die in a hole. They take two hits to kill, and they're always deflecting my boxes. Like, what the heck? Uh-oh, looks like there's a boss. Also, I look a little different. Crap, hang it, I did it. That's it? That's it? THAT'S IT?! I... did all of that... for a black... screen? Yeah, no, this game sucks. <sighs> the final game that we will be looking at... is... S Sonic... 4. For the Super Nintendo. This music is pretty catchy. I hope that the rest of the game has the same amount of quality as the title screen. I I guess. Honestly, why do I even try? I'm out. I'm done. Gone fast, boyos. I'm gone fast as frick, boy. Yeah. And, uh, wait, is is that Mario? Is that Mario in a cage? Whoever made this game didn't know anything about Sonic lore. Am I playing a bad Sonic fanfic? What is this? Disclaimer. This is just satire. Don't be offended. Sonic was just your average teenager working at McDonald's and stuff. And then Robotnik happened. Yikes! And then Mario was in a cage. <laughs> oh, okay. This game is super hard. I mean, sure, there are warning signs, but you can't get the distance that you have to jump. Two out of ten. Would not play again. Would not recommend to a friend too much water. So the lesson for today is that even success has its downsides. And that is a lesson that you can only get on the Zoobs channel. On the Zoobs show. If you're new to my channel, then why not consider joining Z Squad? If you don't know what Z Squad is, then I will tell you now. Z Squad is basically my YouTube squadron. I guess. And all you have to do to join Z Squad is subscribe and ring that little notification bell. Anyway, Z Squad, that's it. I'll see you in another video where I make a real life nether portal. Bye bye!